Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's Mr. Rishi here back with another instructional video. Woo! All right, and today we are gonna learn how to find the volume of a composite rectangular prism. Don't be alarmed, you've probably seen a problem like this before. And it looks a lot harder than it is. All right, first and foremost, let's go over what a composite figure is. What is a composite, rectangular composite figure? Dude, what does it all mean, Ben? A composite figure is just a shape made up of two different shapes um, to compose a figure. For example, right here we have a this shape here. As you can see, this is like my kind of reenactment of this. Uh, as you can see here, we kind of like a rectangle. And then we have a square on top. And you put it on together, a rectangle and a square. And now we have a figure. And because this figure is made up of two parts, of two shapes, it is now a composite figure. Now, I don't know why they have to get all technical with it. Uh, but that's basically what it is, okay? It's basically just two shapes put on top of each other and now it's a composite figure, all right? So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about how to find the volume of these two figures. Now, back in the day, oh, I showed you how to find the volume. It is something now, in case you might have forgot how to find the volume, this is let's not forget the secret formula. Width. All it is is just times length height. times width times height. This is All right, this. so I'll put that up here. Volume is just length times width times height. Oh, okay. Now, that's just the secret formula for volume right here. Okay, now that we know the formula for volume, let's break it down here into easy steps. Okay, the first thing you want to do. Now, a lot of times when they, see, when they give you a composite figure, they don't give you all the measurements, okay? They try to play us and they try not to give us all the measurements, but we can easily find, they should give us enough information to find the measurements, okay? Congratulations, you played yourself. So as you can see here, the first thing you should do is find your two different shapes and then pick them out and now we're gonna try to find the volume of those two shapes. Okay, for example, when I'm looking at this problem here, I see there's a shape at the bottom here, and I see another shape at the top. As I try to see, I try to represent it like right here like this, okay? So let's just kind of break them apart in our head, and let's find the volume of this one first, and then we'll find the volume of this one, okay? All right, so let's take a look here, and let's check out our bottom shape here okay i want to find the volume let's just pick this one out okay let's actually like said let's remove this top one here and let's just find the volume of our top bottom shape here okay for now let's look for all three components so as we can see here um uh this 10 centimeters is our length length uh i like to describe length as going from like side to side how long it goes and then uh, I see that we have our width, describe our width as how deep something goes. We can see how deep it goes back, okay? And we have our height. Now, I just want the height of this bottom rectangle, and I see from here to here is two, so I'm gonna label that, boom. All right, so we have our, we have the secret formula for the bottom rectangle. You very smart. Okay, and we could just multiply all those bad boys up, okay? Boom. So I am going to do that over here. So I'll call, I'll, I'll call this bottom box, um, we'll call it um, letter A, because a lot of times you see that on your problems. So here's bottom box A. So A equals 10 times three times two, okay? Perfect. Now, if we multiply all those up, I know that 10 times 3 is 30. 30 times 2 is 60. Boom. You're a genius. Nice. Cool. So all I'm missing is, or the height, they give us the height of 4. So all I'm missing is the length here. 
Hmm, okay, I don't know what this is just yet. Put a little question mark. But what I do know is that from here to here is six, okay? And then from here to here is 10. So they do give me some missing add-ins here, or they do give me some add-ins and I could find the missing one here. So if I know if this from here to here is 10, and from here to here is six, so what six plus how many more can get to 10? <coughs> Boom, simple, quick math. If you got, you know, if you're very fluent in second grade math, you should be good to go. And we know that is four. Perfect. So we found the length of letter B, of box B. So I'm going to put box B here equals four times three times four up. Boom. Perfect. Okay. So now let's multiply all of them up. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 4 is 48. So now we have found the volume of box A, which is 60, and box B, which is 48. Now, your final step is just add those bad boys up like we were in first grade. So, 60 plus 48. I'll do that right here. 60 plus 48. All right. And just like you learned in first grade, 8 plus 0 is 8, and 6 plus 4 is 10. Boom. So now we found the volume of this composite rectangular prism and our volume will equal to 108 perfect and there you go that is how you find the volume of a composite rectangular prism